the future of education is what PBL is putting on the table. Um, the coming generations are very, very clear. They know very well that they have a lot of challenges to face in the future, in the almost near future. Uh, so they want skills. They want to have criteria. They want to be able to make decisions. They want to have tools to negotiate, to communicate, because they know that they have to face real life problems. And this is exactly what PBL does. It, it trains them in, in that, in being able to identify, address, and gather the resources to deal with problems. And I think that's great. I think your more your adaptive capabilities, both in transforming sort of uh, passive theory and methods into active uh, sort of work, is better. You're better at adapting to new environments or new sort of project focuses, different areas of field work. Um, yeah, and you you're also quite independent. Like you learn to do yourself, plan the project ahead, and and really do the whole thing uh, and you do it with the complexity of the real world instead of just sort of paper projects where you sit here at university and study for five years. I think it's very important to work with problem-based learning for three reasons. First of all, it's a really good method, teaching and learning method to, to support student learning. The students, they uh, engage actively with the subjects and the disciplines they are learning. And second, I think it's very important uh, that you really have this multidisciplinary approach and you train the students to work with complex problems. And, and third, they will meet those complex problems as professionals when they leave university and go out in society. And it's very useful that they train this way of working and this way of thinking, empowering themselves in order to be able to, to make good solutions already during their, their study their uh, study time. Teachers should work with PBL because PBL exposes them to a host of different skills that are important for the 21st century. For example, teachers working with problem-based learning are exposed to better communication skills, lateral thinking skills, critical thinking skills, divergent thinking skills, presentation skills and I could go on and on. More importantly, teachers are better able to communicate with their students and pass on these skills and competencies. Well, one, I hope to uh, get my students excited about learning, eh? excited about uh, city planning and using city planning as a discipline to address problems that we have in the Caribbean. For example, problems relating to solid waste management, solid problems related to transportation, uh, problems related to land management. These are serious problems affecting us as small island developing states and we need new solutions and this generation is well positioned to provide the new solutions with the new approach to teaching and learning. The results that I've seen so far are several. First, I must say that I recognize that there's a stronger sense of enthusiasm among students about what they're doing. The second result is that I've seen a greater environment that fosters more collaboration on campus at the interfaculty level. And thirdly, the third result I would like to mention is one that points to stakeholders. Where I'm seeing through the National Seminar, through the City Lab Project, a greater interest in stakeholders in what students are doing and a greater desire as well to connect with stakeholders in our work. My teaching style has changed literally like almost completely I have to say. Um, this process has taught me um, to be more flexible that it really opens up a lot more uh, the possible results when you leave some stuff open um, to not be probably so obsessed with results. 
and to really try to make students aware. That is the part that for me was maybe something I took for granted. Uh, when a student is aware of the process, the learning process, and why they are doing something, it really becomes uh, a lot more clear and meaningful for them, uh, instead of just doing something mechanically. Uh, and I also feel that um, the fact that we have become so um, focused on working with the real problems also motivates the students and motivates me as a teacher as well. And it, it has made me more open to go outside, to interact with people, to bring people into the classroom, and to just make the whole uh, experience way more dynamic than it used to be. Since introducing the PBL in this bite-size um, um, way, uh, we've seen some impact on the students. We've seen them become more um, critically focused. Um, they started thinking a little bit more um, independently outside of the facilitators and the lecturers. Um, they're more professionally minded and more developed to, to, to serve and become a part of society. I like that there's not just one solution. You, you can experiment and you can explore yourself and there not being one solution also makes you think and also challenge what is established both theory and method so you really get to use it and get it on your backbone and I really enjoy doing that. The research has shown, I can tell you from my research, that students are excited about PBL. They experience much deeper learning, uh, they are better able to retain information and more importantly, to apply this information in authentic situations.